another video you can see I'm pretty much kitted up because it's raining and I've never seen so many bugs in my life flying around look at it I mean my camera is absolutely that's really why I got all this on I need a net lesson learned again all these all these little trips I make I seem to be learning some lessons uh, probably just not photography so I've, I found my uh, <clears throat> first composition here I'm still in Japan uh, all my videos are gonna be from Japan unless something unless some money falls out of the sky and I can fly to Patagonia or something but I'm okay uh, fortunate to be shooting here but I'm still in Japan shooting I'm back on mainland and I've got some great conditions today I came out pretty close to home uh, I got some fog misty rain going on here and I thought I would come out and see if I can't find some stuff you know and um, yeah and I think I found my first composition so let me walk you through this okay so that's what I got here I mean it's framed up a little different maybe more like this and I plan on since it's foggy I'm not too worried about this bright spot but I'm probably gonna crop that down um, a little bit I, I don't know uh, but what I've done is I've kind of framed this tree up it's got a little bit of character to it it kind of the branches all kind of sweep down and there's some light down here and it just kind of works its way through so I've framed it with this tree on the right uh, this grass and everything just kind of flows you through the scene I mean this is kind of how I'm seeing it um, you may see it differently but this is how I'm kind of visualizing I stood here for a while and looked at it uh, I do like that there's some layered light in there along with the mist so it's kind of giving it that ethereal uh, look to it just on its own without doing anything in Photoshop so I, I'll have to do very little to this I think in uh, in processing which is the goal right try to get it as right in camera or just have the conditions that help you uh, help you put a photo together but what I'll probably do is I will probably crop this in a little bit um, and then yeah just kind of I like it I don't know we'll, we'll see how it looks though once I get it in on the computer uh, I'm gonna have to do something about these bugs though I'm not gonna lie it's, it's out of control in here all right so I'll post that image now and tell me what you think found another composition here and slow going uh, mainly because I don't want to deal with these bugs so it's kind of preventing me from uh, getting creative in here and the fog's really good right now really good uh, let me walk you through this scene I got going on here now again I'm using the what I got available to frame a subject here so I'm framing this tree here uh, these this there's some backlight behind it it's kind of nice I'll play with the exposure just to make sure that I don't blow anything out um, I really like this these leaves through here they're really red and saturated so the contrast between the greens and the red here and the mossy trees is Pretty substantial I mean I really like it I don't know how it's gonna look in post processing but uh yeah I don't know the only thing I really don't like is I got a little bit I mean I wouldn't even say that sky I'm not too bothered by it because it's fog I just got to make sure when I process it that this is not so bright that my eye goes straight to it so I don't know maybe I'll maybe I'll clone it out or something I don't know we'll see or I'll crop it in something like that I'll play around with it and I'll post that photo now if it turns out any good.
walking through this composition and I just came across it's pretty I mean, it's neat it's interesting to say the least uh, I've got this wild looking tree growing up out of here but it's not it's this tree but it's also the tree in the background kind of opens up and frames a similar looking tree this one has a lot more moss on it though but let me let me show you in the back of the camera what I'm thinking here as you can see this tree kind of sets up like a hand uh, but you've got a similar looking tree right here in the background so I'm trying using this to frame it I've gotten kind of close to this branch here to help bring you in to this tree back here I don't know if it works or not what I'm having to pay attention to again video crops in a little bit then the actual photo let me back up here I gotta pay attention right here so it's getting pretty dark in here so I'm having to use a higher ISO to get a faster shutter speed for just the leaves and then I'll stop it back down uh, or not stop it back down but I'll I'll lower the ISO back to a manageable um, ISO for the for the shadows I, this camera is so good I probably don't have to worry about it but I'm being extra careful because I don't like I don't like to walk and hike all the way in these places and just to see that I screwed up so I mean it's inevitable it's going to happen but if I can try to mitigate it and take a lot of photos different variations different shutter speeds I'll do that just so I make sure I have what I need but I think it's kind of nice you can see the light back here is kind of soft and, and nice back here and I think it just kind of brings your eye in we'll see we'll see how it turns out I'll uh, post that photo now and let me know what you think I'm done in here I really had no plan today so I just want to get out and do some exploring uh, kind of learn an area that I'm not real familiar with which is most areas in Japan because I didn't grow up here um, it does take me a little bit more work to try to learn an area try to figure it out what's the seasonal changes to uh, specific areas and I'm still learning. Uh, Japanese got a leg up on me because they've they've been coming to these locations their whole life, so they know what the you know when stuff's blooming, when uh, the weather conditions are favorable for certain areas. They got all that knowledge. Well, that's no excuse though. Um, I, I'm just gotta I gotta work hard, and uh, plus I just gotta get better as a photographer in general. And that's the whole point of this channel is you bring you along and uh, watch me make all these mistakes and then hopefully grow from it and continue to get better uh, I'm not trying to educate you on how to do something maybe you'll watch and see a mistake for me and you'll be like oh, that didn't work for him so plus you get to learn a little bit about Japan which is always fun right but I do appreciate you subscribing continue to subscribe any of the pictures that I did not video I will show you at the end and I'll probably talk you through the compositions and what I like about it what I don't like so I'll see you in the next video thank you again for subscribing be sure to hit that likes button and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video <laughs>